المسعود البرزن قالوا له هذا العراق مجال منه قومي Leaked audio recordings attributed to former Prime Minister Nouri al-Maliki are trending in Iraq. In this clip, two men allegedly urge Maliki to take power by force and eliminate his rivals. Later, they appear to pledge their allegiance and offer Maliki protection from Iran. There must be bloodshed in order for us to take control. This is recommended by Ayatollah Mirza. A blogger recently published the clips on his Twitter account. In one, Maliki allegedly insults his rival Shia cleric Muqtada Sadr. I know the Sadrists very well. I fought them in Basra, Karbala and in Baghdad. They're cowards. The conflict between Maliki and Sadr is old, but releasing these recordings now means the Iranian role in healing the rift between Shia politicians is declining. It also indicates there's likely disagreement between Maliki and his allies within the Iranian-backed coalition itself. Maliki's office says the recordings are fake, but the prosecutor has opened an investigation. This development comes against the backdrop of a heated dispute between rival blocs about forming a government. Maliki and his Iranian-backed allies want to form a consensus government. However, Sadr has rejected the group, accusing the politicians of corruption. Parliament has been deadlocked since October legislative elections, unable to elect a new president. Tensions escalated after 73 Sadr-affiliated MPs quit last month. Sadr and Maliki have exchanged statements and counter-statements, tweets and counter-tweets. In a show of force, Sadr summoned tens of thousands of supporters to Baghdad for Friday prayers. The preacher reiterated Sadr's message of no partnership with Iranian-backed parties. The head of the pro-Iran Al-Fatih coalition, Hadi Al-Amri, has dismissed the recordings. Speaking at a Shia religious event in Baghdad, Amri said they are aimed at destabilizing Iraq. But the blogger has promised to publish more recordings with what he describes as more interesting content. That means the war of words between Iraqi politicians is unlikely to end anytime soon. Mahmoud Abdul Wahid, Al-Jazeera. بغداد